Hi, my name is Dale Siles, and I'm the pastor of Sanley Chapel, and I thought it would be kind of cool to do something different this week. And um, hopefully, as a family, you're watching this, and um, for those who've not met me, some of you kids may be watching this on the uh, Powerhouse Kids page. I'm the lead pastor. I'm the one who does most of the preaching in the uh, sanctuary. I'm the one who's teaching your parents while you're learning in our awesome kids ministry. And this past week, I did this illustration, and I wanted to do it for you, and maybe it you and your parents and uh, or maybe if you're an adult watching this you and your kids could sit down and maybe do a family devotion around this you're welcome to tune in and watch this and uh, let me kind of coach you through a devotion or you're welcome to watch this and then go do a devotion of your own with your family uh, but either way let's go to Galatians if you get a Bible and go to Galatians chapter 5 and we'll probably start reading around verse 19 or, or at least start talking about around verse 19 now here's what you may or may not know about yourself. When you were born, you were born with something called a sin nature. That's the darkness that is inside. It's, if you can imagine yourself kind of like a cup here, that there's a little bit of blackness in all of us. It stems from our own selfishness or our own pride. Um, we're born not wanting to share our toys. We're born not wanting to give to others. We're born that if there's two cookies on the plate and one of them's crumbly and nasty and one of them's nice and big and round, we naturally want to go for the nice big and round one. And from that mindset that says, look out for me, look out for number one, a lot of bad things kind of come from that. Uh, it causes us to tell lies. It causes us to have bad thoughts. It causes us to be greedy and jealous. And then a lot of times kids will do that and they'll bully and they'll use it on a playground or whatever. And then sometimes they grow into adults and they're still jealous and they're still greedy and they're still envy. Galatians uh, chapter 5 verse 19 through verse 21 talks about some of those things. So why don't you now just kind of as a family pause this and, and read that passage maybe and talk about some ways you've seen blackness come out of people. You've seen darkness. You, you've seen uh, mankind's dark side tend to surface. So go ahead and pause it now and talk about that and then join me back in just a second. So maybe you talk about some things that I mentioned like greed and jealousy and some things and maybe you mentioned some other things that uh, I didn't mention but we see it a lot in our society there's a lot of blackness but see God says that when you come to him and you ask for forgiveness and you want to become a Christian a follower of Jesus Christ then he wants to make you a brand new person he wants to make you a person that don't have the blackness and all the evil that's coming out of you but he wants to replace it with good stuff in fact, if you look at Galatians 5, I won't read the whole passage, but the right after you stopped on verse 21, verse 22 says, the fruit of the Spirit, and when it says the Spirit, it's talking about the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, the fruit of God in your life, the fruit that you really are a Christian, the fruit that you've really asked God in your life. Now, fruit is like a tree. Uh, an apple tree bears apples, and a plum tree bears plums. You, you don't see apple trees bearing plums or producing plums or uh, orange trees producing grapes. You don't, you don't see that. It, it, it produces after its own kind. So the fruit that comes from a person who has Jesus Christ in their heart is this, and here's what he says. It says, love, joy, peace, forbearance, or, or patience is what that means, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Now that's a whole lot better than probably some of those things that you've listed a while ago that were coming out of people that were not so hot and not so good. In fact, here's what the Bible says. The Bible says that when you come to Christ, that God places his Holy Spirit inside of you and he goes to work to get all this black stuff, all this stuff that you don't want inside of you out. Now, the way he does that, and sometimes in the Bible, the Holy Spirit is symbolized as water, that all of a sudden, God comes into your heart. And sometimes what happens is he comes into your heart and you don't really see a lot of change and it feels like, Man, I, I've gotten even worse. It seems like there's worse because see what happened is you saw how pure it could be. And then all of a sudden you see that you're not lining up with that. 
And so a lot of times what people do is they feel guilty and they want to stay away from church and stay away from prayer and stay away from God. And when people start talking about things like maybe this family devotion, they want to get away from it. But you don't need to get away from it. Because what I've learned after a lot of years of trying to walk with Christ is the longer you come to God, the more you stand, God begins to replace all that dark stuff that is inside of you. All that stuff that is inside. And the longer you stand there, the purer you get and the holier you get and the cleaner you get. And you know what you could do? You could stop coming and you could get out from under that flow. God's wanting to pour into your life. But you know what? You'll stay dirty. But the longer you keep coming and standing under that fountain, standing under the truth of God's Word, keep praying, keep reading your Bible, keep doing those things, God will replace all that bad with all that good, with love and joy and peace and gentleness and patience and kindness, because that's the fruit He wants you to have in your life. So why don't you take just a second now, and why don't you talk as a family a little bit about what it would look like for a person to have the fruit of the Holy Spirit as they go to your school, as they go to your classes, as they go to your um, the places that you go. Okay, so now that we have a pretty good idea about what it looks like to have the bad and what it looks like to have the good, let's talk just a few minutes as a family about um, how to take, this is a little bit maybe hard to understand, about what it means to come and be under the flow of God's Spirit as He pours into your life. Talk about what specific things you could do or a person could do to be under that flow. I'll give you for instance, uh, people could potentially spend time with God and build a relationship, but what are some ways to spend time with God and build a relationship? So as a family, why don't you talk a little bit about what you can do to be under the flow of the, of the Holy Spirit in your life so you're staying connected to, to God through the Holy Spirit. Okay, so now we've talked a little bit about the bad, we've talked a little bit about the good, and we've talked a little bit about what you can do to replace the bad with the good by standing under this fountain, under this truth of God's Word. Now, let's make it real personal and real practical. Why don't you as a family take just a few minutes and make some commitments? What are you going to do? What are you going to do personally? Uh, what kind of commitments are you going to make so that you can stand under this fountain? What kind of commitments are your, is your family going to make so that you can stand under this fountain? Then once you've made those commitments, I would like for you to join hands and pray together as a family and say to God, we're going to do our best and ask God to help you. He will help you honor the commitments that you're making. I hope you got something out of this. I hope you made uh, some steps closer to God, and I've enjoyed talking with you. I want you to know I love you guys. I'm so glad that you're part of this church family. And if this was beneficial, if this was a good little family devotion for you, send me an email and let me know, Pastor Dale at sandlingchapel.com, and I might put together another one sometime uh, for you as well. Hope to see you at church. God bless you. <music>